Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So today, I miss that air fryer because you know your sausage is cooked through, right? You gotta practically burn them in the frying pan. So sausage, that's the maple one. Um, I bought my egg on purpose because I felt like having ketchup yogurt and toast. Let's see if this is cooked. It's cooked, but I like that air fryer. That's fun to have. So I walked home last night. Nice night. Today I gotta train that new guy. He's going to be working weekend morning. I train him today and tomorrow. And then the weekend staff be training him. So. He comes in from 6 to 4. Only got eight hours with them. Eight hours in total. So, see, broke ass, he said. Well, first he told me, I don't know how to cook anything, only hot dogs or whatever. Can you show them how to cook something? We'll film it. I said, yeah, sure. I'm thinking something fast, simple, easy, that he would be able to cook when he was by himself, right? Instead of just eating wieners. At least make a sloppy dough. Someone said, I've always seen sloppy doughs on a hamburger bun, but do hot dog bun when you got a wiener. I mean, sorry, man. I said, yeah, okay. A couple days before that, they filmed a car mukbang, and I watched it. Bro was saying, I'm gonna give mom a hard time, eh? I said, okay, that's his plan. So, they weren't gonna give me a hard time. I didn't like it. That's why I was so stern. I said, I'll, I'll be stern. Can't give me a hard time. So, you probably think of, I don't know. But that's what I might have thought. Told me he didn't know how to cook anything, so. So uh, I'll show something simple. And he won't hurt himself. So anyhow, that was, uh, he uploaded it last night. You didn't see it. Yeah. We cooked it and, it, and I could eat it, so. My father was supposed to come over, but she fell asleep. She told Ian to wake her up. Now. When she's throwing and sleeping, you don't want to wake her up. She came over after, but... She didn't have any. They were going to the mall. Probably picked up something there. Had good sleep though. 
when I come home from work, I stay out for about an hour or so, and then I go go to bed. And I woke up a couple of times in the middle of the night, but I went right back to sleep again. So I had a good sleep. Stopped at the Circle K, got a cup of milk. I didn't make it to no, no pro. But I do have enough stuff here to do me until Saturday. Not like I'm really out of sofa. Okay, I'm going to pick up the meat. Got pancake flour, got oatmeal. I got meat, potatoes, and that for my supper for work. That pork came, pork wing came out tonight. I bought a lot of potatoes, smashed them. Then I had a bunch of spinach. From before. I only steamed it up really fast. Didn't make it really murky. And then the pork loin cut it up. Put it all in the thing and then I made gravy and just poured it on top of it. It was good stuff and I ate it all. I still got pork, it had pork loin left. So last night when I came home, I made a mustard and pork loin sandwich. Made a sandwich with it, put mustard on it. With a glass of chocolate milk. But they were going all over the place, eh? Wow. Would it be a nice day today? Plus two, plus three. Still feel like the minus is done. I'll be walking home tonight. This week's going by fast. I'm okay. Sunday I am going to rest up. Saturday I do my groceries and I'm supposed to do my laundry today, you know, Wednesday. It's 
really not that much. Depends on what it feels bad or nice. I got a nice uniform top. This one is really strong. Due date's not not even near, but strong with the vanilla. This one is the last one I have. I thought it was something that I ate with it, but no. Really strong. And it's good, I like it. I don't think I'll do the cooking thing no. again. When I cook, I like to be alone. Now I know why mom, she didn't mind me watching, I just couldn't talk to her, ask her any questions. She, she talking back. We're doing this because, we're doing this because sort of thing. You know, she would talk, but I had to sit way back and I couldn't help her. I could have the spoon from the icing or whatever, you know, you need, or from the mixer. Spoons and whatnot, and stuff like that. So. And she watched, she didn't want help. I wanted to. If you're doing the cookies and take the wet the fork and make the, I wanted to do that, but she had to do it. So I'll probably do my cooking on Sunday. I don't know. It's like a it's a casserole, white bread, you take the white bread, no crust, take the crust off, cut, cut it in cubes. This pineapple chicken, I gotta remember, I gotta remember what goes all in it, I don't wanna forget. Chicken, pineapple, I haven't been able to remember. Because I've had a couple of days anyway for my lunch, right? At work, instead of doing it day by day. Today I'm not going to cook, I'm just going to use the pork loin, make sandwich, and figure out what else to bring. Probably go to the dollar store and pick up a pepperoni. And, but it's not really a meal, right? I don't like to like cook. I didn't take anything out. It's all in the freezer. Yeah. So that's about it. Bro likes being a little instigator. 
Someone said about me promoting cigarette time. Isn't there a YouTube kids? Kids YouTube? Like they call it YouTube kids because I have my filter out on only. And I'm not permitting anyone to smoke. It's just something that I'm just saying. But isn't there a YouTube kid? Because they said, oh, you're promoting smoking and kids and all this. What did you and that? If you look at my filter, it says adult only or adult content. So there is a filter on my YouTube channel. So that's why I can curse. I can swear. I can say what I want, right? And if I want to say cigarette time, I can. Just some people. Just like one there. You're supposed to do the grease out of the frying pan. Well, of course I know that, but couldn't trust Glenn to put a little bit on his hot dog and he burn himself. Look, I just left a little bit of grease that won't, won't kill anybody for how much grease came out of that lean ground beef. They weren't that much grease in it. And it never killed us. And back in the day, that's how we cooked anyway. We never drank no. That's, that makes the flavor. That makes the gravy. It's the grease. And the grease was self grease. I didn't grease the pan. I didn't put olive oil or nothing. It's grease coming from the actual meat, you know, the fat. Oh, that reminds me, I probably said it a hundred times when we went over to my brother's wife and she said, oh, I'm going to make clam chowder and seen the two cans of clams there. She said, yeah, so we're, I can't wait. I love clam chowder, anything with fish. Anyway, I can't wait. And uh, we're going, good, we're going to have two cans. Mom always put one. She never put two cans there. Never. She always put one. And she made little ones too, so. Anyway, they did the potatoes and had it, and then when it was time to put the clams in, she, oh, she drained the, the brine out of the, both cans. Just took the taste right away. Oh my God, I said, oh, I couldn't believe it. I watched her and I was like, why, why, why? I gave, bro had a bunch of 50s that I gave him a can of white crab meat that was on sale. Just a can, just not the big one that's, you know, just, and I told him, I said, if you're going to cook all your fish up in the, in your uh, frying pan, so I asked him what he, is he going to make a chowder or what he's going to do? Oh, I'm just going to cook, he had, I don't know, shrimp and whatever, and I said, kids, I said, well, do not rinse. Take the, drain the water out of that. Put it in if you want. I told him, I said, don't. If you want that taste. Yeah. So when I make just a clam chowder, I do two cans of clams now. If I'm doing a seafood chowder, it was all mixed seafood or whatever, shrimp and fish and whatnot, then I only use with salary. Never had it with salary until I was on the, <clears throat> the boat going from New Brunswick over to PEI. I got a clam chowder. They put salary on it, like thin, 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 thin sliced salary. Like, yep, just to give the taste with the onions. I put them both in at the same time. So, I upload this. Then I got some dishes to do. And I'm just going to sit back, relax, till it's time to sit back. Little bit of traffic, but it's all quiet.
busy street on the weekend, but I mean, uh, but when you close the door, you can't can't hear it. You can't close the door, and I, uh, yeah, I like my place. Things happen for a reason. I think of Honda. I think I think things are gonna work out. I know. It's just when she has bad luck, it just goes like me. So, just a few things. I think something's good coming her way, so don't need that stress. Don't need that stress. So anyway. You see him her and bro seem to have good luck. Jenny, she just, and she don't, she, I don't know, she, she just, sort of like me, <laughs> but I had hard times, Jenny really never, see, never had good times, or, she's in between, she just, Don't realize how fortunate she is to be here. So I told her you don't have to go back to work until the kids are both full time and school is pretty hard, right? <clears throat> I don't think she should go back to college though. She really didn't like school. So I say get five hours a day just to get out of the house and go to McDonald's over here and keep them occupied. Even if she just worked five hours kids are in school and she don't have to get daycare and babysitter and then when she gets old they get older she had them young enough that she could go back to school once they're like in middle school and they can walk home and you know but and I don't know because I don't think Chase will ever be able to be left alone until he's like in high school too. Because she's better off just working the five hours until he's probably in high school. Like eight, 17 and Claire will be 15. So she got her, she got her ways eight, nine years to go before she can go back to school or get her out of the house. She has a grade 12. She worked at McDonald's. I mean, she done really good. She's a good worker, so I told her, next year, just walk up. They're always hiring. Just say, look, I got two kids in school. I worked at McDonald's before, two of them, one in New Brunswick and one in Nova Scotia. And I just need some to get out of the house. Nothing wrong with that. 25 hours a week. Give her a little bit of money, right? So anyhow, I'll end this. I'm sitting in one position too long. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Yeah, the paint, the paint's okay, see? That chair, I just forgot which one it was, and I painted on Sunday, and I sat on it on Monday, and it kind of, yeah, I like my teal, so I'm going to say it, cigarette time!